Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Smells Like. I'm Josh. So good to see you. Uh, and this is my second week of going through and telling you all the fragrances that I wore. Fragrances of the week video. Um, so it's my second time trying this. I uh, thought it was a cool idea. I've seen a couple of other reviewers doing it. Uh, so, you know, hopefully they won't mind me kind of uh, playing copycat a little bit here. But I think it's kind of a fun idea to just go through go over what I wore, how it went, how the weather was, things like that, and uh, just kind of let you know. Uh, these are some of the uh, great transition fragrances right now from summer to fall, and so we've got some great fragrances for that time of year, uh, end of summer, beginning of fall. Uh, really, really great fragrances that stand up with a little bit of heat or a little bit of cold both. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Uh, on Sunday, I wore Terre de Remez Eau Tre Fresh. Uh, this is a fresher, uh, more watery version of the original Terre d'Hermes. It still has that kind of uh, mineral, citrus, a little bit of an earthy vibe. Um, this adds a little bit of a more pronounced musk uh, note uh, and the, some watery notes. Really just a fresh, uh, amazing fragrance. This has a little different citrus note than the original Terre d'Hermes. Uh, I think there's a little bit more grapefruit, some other citruses kind of combining to make this one. This is a masterpiece of a fragrance and perfect for these transitionary times uh, from summer to fall, especially on maybe a warmer fall day. This is perfection. So that was Monday. Don't remember getting any compliments on that one or any Sunday because uh, I didn't really do much. Just kind of uh, lounged around, took my dog for a walk, that kind of thing. So I uh, didn't get any feedback on that one, but that is one of my favorites. Uh, on Monday, I went with the old standby, one of my favorites of all time, if not my favorite of all time. This is Creed's Ventus. And uh, I had been kind of living off of some decants that I had of different batches, kind of older batches. This is a 2017 batch. And I don't know what it is, if this has, you know, finally been able to age for long enough. When I first got this, I got, you know, a decent seven to eight hours of longevity, and I was okay with that. Um, but I don't know what happened, if it's the weather, my skin chemistry changing, or if this is just aged for long enough now. Um, I got like, Way easily over 12 hours of, of longevity with this. I've never gotten that long of a wear out of Aventus. Um, and so I was thrilled with that. Um, I actually got a couple of compliments. Um, so really feeling good about that one. Always feeling good about Aventus, but I really was surprised with how well uh, that it performed. So, you know, if, if you have bad performance, maybe with Aventus, some people complain about that. Uh, don't give up. I also hadn't worn it in a few weeks, and so maybe my, you know, my system wasn't as used to it. I think this is a fragrance you definitely get used to and can, can become a little bit nose blind to. Um, but that was kind of like thrilling for me to get just amazing performance from Ventus um, for hours and hours and hours uh, on Monday. Uh, on Tuesday, I went with something a little bit lighter and easy to wear. Uh, wasn't feeling well. Had to go to the doctor's office. Uh, this is Dunhill Icon. This is a really easy breezy, um, light uh, citrus and floral, some woods. This has pettigrain, bergamot. It has some pepper. Uh, it kind of has kind of a fizzy, almost like a soda vibe to it uh, going on. Just a really nice, fresh, really enjoyable fragrance. Um, Again, another great transition fragrance. This is a great spring fragrance uh, and a great fall fragrance as well, especially on warmer uh, fall days, those early fall days. On Wednesday, it was uh, still pretty hot out actually. Uh, so I went with something just really easy to wear. This is uh, Lamel or Fresh or Pop the Popeye edition. There's also the Superman. There's a number of different packaging. Uh, all of it is just Lamel the fresh version, uh, whether it's this Superman, the one with the little cartoon on it. There's a bunch of different fresh versions of Le Mans. Um, this has kind of a bubblegummy mint. It has some tonka. It's got some kind of fresh laundry, uh, you know, fresh linen smell, aldehydic uh, vibe to it. It's got a little bit of light in it. I kind of like that. Um, and I got a couple of compliments with this one. Uh, I don't think I had any compliments with the Icon. A couple of people told me I smell nice with this one and I was just wearing you know, jeans and a white t-shirt. This is really just the quintessential jeans and white t-shirt fragrance, just really easy going. Um, and, and kind of a crowd pleaser, also kind of a fun fragrance also. 
on Thursday, pulled out a heavy hitter. This is one of my favorite fragrances of all time and easily one of my favorites for fall. This is Dior Homme. This is, again, another great transition fragrance. Um, it works with a little bit of heat on it, um, but really works in those kind of in-between days where there's a little bit of cold chill in the air as well, uh, especially on like a sunshiny, cooler day or maybe the highs are in like the 70s and that's what it was on thursday when i wore this um, you know this people always talk about the iris in this this has so much more going on than the iris which is gorgeous but this also has this amazing leather it's got patchouli uh, there's a great bergamot that really lasts and lasts in the in the beginning of this fragrance uh some lavender some sage uh even a little bit of vetiver so um this is such a classic classy super versatile and just amazing smelling fragrance for fall. Um, I put out a full review of this actually just this, on Thursday after wearing this all day. I went ahead and did a review of it. Uh, so I will link that below if you're interested in a full review of Dior Homme. On Friday, I emptied out a decant of Baccarat Rouge 540, uh, the EDP from Maison Francis Kirchhoff. Um, finished up this 10 mil decant you know this is a really sheer sugary sweet uh, fragrance there's things like saffron and jasmine that, you know uh, uh, ambergris in this uh, but mainly this just smells like an amazing fresh uh, sort of ambergris based fragrance and it's really just an amazing example of of what a master perfumer can do with synthetic ingredients. You know, this is just, I think I'll think mostly synthetics, if not all synthetics, uh, to create just a really upscale smelling, amazing fragrance. This is getting up there with my favorite fragrances of all time. This is up there with Aventus for me. Um, and it's definitely a bottle worthy. I have another 10 mil decant of this that I need to go through. And then uh, I will definitely be grabbing a bottle. Uh, here in the near future, really just a matter of time, uh, but that will, if not my next bottle, uh, will be shortly thereafter. Uh, back right, Rouge 540 on Friday. Um, let's see, I did, oh, talk about compliments. Dior Own was my compliment magnet this week. I think I got like four or five compliments uh, on the day that I wore this. Uh, there's something about this fragrance. Some, I've heard some people say that this doesn't perform all that well. This performs amazingly on me, and especially the way it projects. This just projects and projects and projects for hours on me, and that's why I think I probably get a lot of notice from people. Even strangers told me I smelled amazing. One person in a store where I was shopping this week said, wow, you smell amazing, which, you know, I really told I smell amazing by a stranger. Um, you know, so this man, this stuff is, I'm telling you, no slouch when it comes to compliments. Back at Rouge 540, I think I did get one compliment on that one um, and that brings us to today Saturday got super hot again outside we've had a little bit of cool fall weather and now it's just turned really warm again um, so today I opted for Voyage d'Hermes uh, this has cardamom some other spices kind of a watery woodsy fragrance it's really light very transparent it's it's really that fits that classic Hermes vibe, which is that sort of really transparent, classy, upscale vibe. Um, this is a great fragrance for travel because it's really inoffensive, but, but also really smells great. Uh, isn't the best performer in the world, but I do feel like I get a little bit better performance on this than some other people have said. I've heard people say they only get two or three hours. Um, I do get a full day out of this, um, you know, maybe on the weaker side of six or seven hours. Um, but I think usually I get like seven to eight hours longevity with this. Let's see how this is going, you know, today. I put this on about six hours ago. And it's still going pretty strong. I can still smell it pretty easily. So, uh, you know, I feel like this is a really awesome fragrance uh, when there's a little bit of heat, a little bit of humidity in the air, and you just need something nice, fresh, easy going. Uh, this again, one of my favorite designer fragrances and really one of my favorites from Hermes. This stands up with Terre d'Hermes Eau Très Fresh for me and the original Terre d'Hermes. Uh, this really stands up for me as one of their best men's designers over from uh, Hermes. So 
that's my fragrances of the week. Uh, if you like this fragrance idea, go ahead and let me know in the comments. Let me know if you'd like me to keep on doing this every week. I think it's kind of a fun way to keep track of the fragrances that I'm wearing and, and you know, just go through uh, kind of my favorites for the season, uh, this beginning of fall, end of summer, beginning of fall season. It seems like a lot of people are interested in, in the fragrances that work best for that. So these are kind of the, you know, the top fragrances that I'm choosing to wear for this type of weather in this season. Uh, so. Let me know in the comments uh, what you've been wearing. Uh, and while you're here, uh, be sure to hit the like button if you would. It really helps with engagement in the channel. Uh, and especially if you'd like to subscribe, uh, I'd love to have you back uh, for another video sometime. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button so I can see you again here at the Smells Like Fragrance channel for another video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.